What's up YouTube? This is All Things Quick. Today we have a 2005 Nissan Murano. What we're going to be doing today is fixing the windshield wiper blade. We have a problem here that when you turn the windshield wiper on inside the car, it doesn't do anything. It simply just moves freely on its own. That's not supposed to happen. So the actual electronic is working inside. It's just that the wipers themselves are disconnected. So in today's video, we're going to be taking this apart and fixing it and diagnosing diagnosing what actually is wrong with it. So the tools that we're going to be needing for this job is a trim tool or flathead screwdriver, a hammer, a ratchet, an extension, and a 14 mil. Also, you'll need a small pair of channel locks. And possibly you might need a larger pair of channel locks that are slightly offset from each other to be able to grab the bushing to push it in when installing the new bushing. We're going to need a 10 mil socket. And lastly, what you're going to need is, depending on how many are broken in your car in mine there's only one broken i'm going to throw a part number up here right now but this is a Dorman product so it would be d o r 49452 that's your part number that you'd need for this to fix that so first off we're going to need to take this plastic cover off this piece comes off by one of these on this side and same thing on the other side so we'll take our trim tool or we'll take our flathead in this case i'm going to take my flathead because i don't like plastic tools and we're just going to pop that right off just like that and then come to the other side we're going to do the exact same thing and just pop that off and that will come free I'd suggest sticking these things back in just so that they don't pop out and you lose them somewhere in your engine bay there's a plastic cover on this windshield wiper blade so you're gonna need to get your flathead screwdriver stick it in there pry it a little bit and that should pop right off just like that next thing you need is your 14 mil with your extension so now that we have that on by a couple threads you want to make sure it's a couple threads just so that you're not stripping the top thread so you want to have that on there and then don't be crazy aggressive about it but hit it hard enough that it's gonna pop free that should be good there we go so now we're gonna get on to the passenger side the exact same thing we're gonna stick our screwdriver in here we're gonna pop up this plastic piece and then we take our 14 mil and our ratchet, pop this guy off and same thing as last time we're gonna keep that on a couple threads and we'll take our hammer should be enough to take that off and there we go now we're gonna go ahead and just take this thing up and that's all we need to do. We don't need to really take it off fully. We just need access to this area right here. The bushing has gone bad on the arm of the motor. So there's an arm that goes right underneath. And of course, you can see that this thing is disabled. This thing is supposed to be attached via a bushing. It's clearly disabled. So now we're going to take our 10 mil socket and we're going to get that. So now we see that that mechanism is free. And now we're just going to take these other two off. And there we go. So once you've removed these three bolts here, you can take your whole entire mechanism and you can flip it upside down. And this is where you'll be able to see what actually happened with your vehicle. So right here, we can clearly see this arm here is powered to the driver's side. And this arm here is powered to the passenger side. In my case here, this bushing has broken free. There's a ball joint on the actual motor arm here. So it powers the passenger side first and the passenger side will power the driver's side. That's how that mechanism works works. So this rubber bushing right here is the failure point of this whole mechanism. So if this goes, then the whole mechanism goes. So this is where you take your small channel locks. Basically what I would do in this case is break off the bottom and just work at it, pull the bottom side apart. Once it has enough sides that are broken off, it will free itself to be able to pull out. So just like that, I've broken the bottom sides off. Now it's able to actually pop out. And there we go. So that's our broken Dorman piece. Now we have a box full of replacements. So I'm just gonna clean the surface of this. So this is optional. If you have it, use it. If you don't, don't worry about it. But I have a container of anti-seize. We're just gonna set that in there. And just like that, and it's assembled. Now that we have this new bushing in, we can take this rubber off for a minute, take our anti-seize, and again, this is optional, you don't have to do this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lubricate this actual ball joint. I'm gonna slip this rubber back on, take our arm here. We're just gonna place this on here, take our hammer and just lightly tap it into place. So now that that's completed, we can flip this mechanism back over. We can set this back up, put our three 10 millimeter bolts back into place. And now we can ratchet these things back down. 
Okay, now that we have this mechanism together, we can take our plastic and we can put this back into place now. So I'm not gonna show you the whole thing of me messing around with that thing because it's just a waste of time, waste of mine and waste of yours, but you have to make sure that this piece slides into the windshield. It kind of looks like this. You slide it into the bottom of the windshield. Also, it's a good idea to take these out, separate them from each other, take this piece and completely take it out. So you just have this bottom piece and then stick this piece into here so then it's a lot easier to work with and once you stick that into place you can put your pin inside and then boom there it is it's locked so do the same thing on the other side so before you put the wiper blades back on you just want to come in turn the car on and just press your wiper blades once so I can hear them move so basically the whole purpose of that is to put it back to its bottom position because we were inside we were messing around with the whole thing so we don't know where exactly it wanted to sit maybe it's supposed to be here but when we messed with it it might have been all the way up here so we just press this once reset it down to the bottom and now we can install our wiper blades so now for the last piece of the puzzle we just have to go and take our wiper blades reinstall them you don't want that thing down at the bottom touching that plastic you want it to be on the windshield so then it will go to its original position without going too low or too high so now we're just going to ratchet this in place that's good. Put the cap on that just to finish it off. And now we move on to the driver's side. Same thing. We want it low, but we don't want it too low. We want it to its original position. Put our 14 mil nut back on. That might be a little too low. Then we'll ratchet this back down. And then we'll put our cap back on. Now we just shut the hood. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go inside the vehicle and then we're gonna test it once to make sure that our adjustments are proper. And so there you go guys, we can see that it's working properly now. It goes up just the way that it's supposed to. It doesn't go too far up and it doesn't go too far down. So we know that we've made the proper adjustments. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching till the end if you have and if you have reached it till the end. I'd appreciate it if you gave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content, that it's something that actually helped you. And if it did help you, leave it down in the comments below. I love hearing positive feedback that I actually helped you guys out and that I was able to make your day better if you have any questions or concerns or maybe uh, something else to add or maybe something that could be helpful to other people as well definitely leave it down in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that red subscribe button that helps me out a lot it really lets me know that you guys are enjoying this type of content so there it is a 2005 Nissan Murano fixing the wiper blade bushing appreciate it guys take care